this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. I recently did the bookshelf book tag, and one of the questions was, have you? And I had it, so I decided to do one. This is in my main library room. Um, I'm not going to do the traditional like bookshelf tour where I go through every single book. Um, I'm going to do close-ups of the individual shelves. But real quick, um, in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, these are my red shelves. I also have one over here that's more of like my textbooks and stuff. And I have my TBR downstairs, just because this is actually a very tiny room. So for the first shelf, um, I have them kind of split up into like mass market paperbacks because I can even, as you can see, I can stack them um, on some shelves too high and then kind of either hardcovers or the taller paperbacks just so that it kind of fits a bit better. My taller paperbacks and hardcover shelf, I have um, the top shelf is, as you can see, is more like Dr. Seuss stuff I read as a kid. Um, I have my graphic novels up there, and I have a Sherlock Holmes um, collection anthology. The next shelf down is my Tamora Pierce shelf. I am actually missing um, five of her books. So I don't know what's going to happen when I get those back because as you can see it's already pretty full and I don't really want to move it to another shelf so we'll see what I'll do for that. Next shelf down is really, I love and hate the shelf. It is my LGBTQIA like fantasy or fiction and the smut. Now I really didn't want to put these together because they are completely different and I don't think that just because it is LGBTQIA or queer fiction means that it's smut, but as of right now, as you can see, the first I have the Captain Prince and the Wayfarer series, they are the only two LGBTQIA I have in that size book. I do have some more on my paperback shelves, but they fit perfectly there, so I haven't decided if I want to split them up. And then I have the smut, which I got rid of quite a bit, and I might still get rid of some. The next shelf down under that is like my young adult, mostly anything else that didn't. So I think it's got Harry Potter on there and that kind of stuff. And the last shelf of the first bookshelf is also young adult, just kind of carried over what didn't fit on the top shelf. Oh, I am on the first young adult shelf. I am actually missing two of the Queen's Thief series. I'm missing the first and the fourth, I believe. No. The second and the fourth book in that series, um, I lent it out to a friend. Now on to my paperback shelf. The top shelf is fantasy, and I have it done by what ones are my favorite, and then like it goes down. So like the first ones, like Lynn Falling and Lynn Falling and Mercedes Lackey are some of my favorite. Um, Fantasy authors, they also are the um, LGBTQIA fantasy that I have in book form or in physical form. And then it just kind of, as you go, it goes from like the top shelf. So those are usually my favorite and then the shelf under are my last favorite, but I still love them because I kept them. The next shelf down is kind of paranormal romance slash mystery. I got rid of a lot of my paranormal romance. The, a lot of my paranormal romance when I did that, when I did the unhaul challenge. And so I was able to condense it. I just kept my books, the books that I remembered and that are my favorite, and my mystery, which I didn't have a lot of, and I did get rid of some of those. The next shelf down is kind of like, it's mostly my Linda Howard shelf, but um, it's kind of just straight romance, and it does have some mystery in it, just because I think some of it rolled down onto the shelf under it. And that is actually all for that bookshelf. It used to be full, but because I did that on Health Challenge, I got rid of over 100 books. So it's no longer full. Now for the little three shelf bookcase I have um, that is across from my hardcovers, it is, the top is mostly cooking. So it's like got some cooking magazines, some books. The stuff on the top is all cooking magazines. I really need to organize that. The next one down is all of the like fiction books I had to read for a lot of my classes when I was in college and then or it's more like literary fiction because some of them I did read outside of 
college, but I don't really have a good place for them because they kind of fit in that genre. So, you know, I just kind of all stuck them together. And then the last one is my textbooks. And I really should get rid of those, but they're still here. And now, this is my TBR shelf that I'm standing in front of. So, um, these aren't really in any particular order. As you can see, they're not even by size. Um, I did them based on which ones I think I'm going to want to read the most. I want to get to the soonest. So, like, if I don't get to the ones on the third shelf down for a long time, or if I end up just not ever getting to them, then no big deal. But the ones on the top are ones that I'm very much interested in getting to. So here's the top shelf. It has um, some books I just bought, some more graphic novels, a few more, more Mercedes Lackey, um, Patrick, Patrick Rothfuss. Rothfuss. Um, I started it and then I just kind of got really distracted by something else. So, and it has some books that I read back in high school, but I was a really bad reader and I only read the chapters of the characters that I wanted to know about. And by the time I got to the bright blue book, the last one, I had no idea what was going on. I had absolutely no idea. So I couldn't finish it. I have, I honestly don't really remember anything about it. So I really would want to reread it because I really was very, I really like the prequel. The next one down is books I'm, well, I should actually probably fix this. It has some books that I'm actually really interested in getting to, like Theft, Theft of Sl like Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan, or what Cass read. Um, talks kind of about like how you're the order in which you're supposed to read it, and it sounded really interesting. I've actually had it for a really long time. It's just a little intimidating because it's actually two books in one, and it's like this big, and it's one of the like taller books, so. I always end up like choosing something else and I have a new one I bought um, on the recommendation of Adriana over at Perpetual Pages. That one should definitely be on the top so I kind of need to fix this. And then the last one has very little. They're books that I've had for a really long time and should actually probably really go. I'm not really all that interested. The stuff, I know it's a mess. I, I under yeah. Um, a lot of the journals that are laying sideways are for bullet journaling. I do a traveler's journal slash bullet journal. Um, I'll do a walkthrough at some point. And so I keep those there so that once I get through one of my smaller journals, because like I have the big traditional like just journal, like notebook, but then I also keep it in with a binder with like another one so they're like side by side so I have extra and I use kind of it some of it for like writing reviews or tracking other things so I'll do a review of that sometime I also um I'm subscribed to this tea service um not sponsored in any way but it's called sips by so s-i-p-s-b-y dot com and you can um it's like I think it's 15 bucks a month they send you four different teas, um, and you kind of get to choose which ones you like. And I found some really awesome teas through there. Like, they had one that was called Fruity Pebbles. One that turned, that was blue, but it turned purple when you put lemon in it. And it's just been really good. Um, I haven't loved all of them, but I love most of them, so. And the other stuff on the bottom two shelves are also just, like, notebooks and more washi tape for my bullet journal because I am a washi tape whore. I can't help it anytime I go into Michael's or someplace that has them I gotta look and I usually end up buying them especially if they're on sale. Well that was my very abbreviated very quick run through of my bookshelves. So until the next video ta-ta for now!